Coach, there's playing with, there's learn how to play with a lead, and then there's what you guys did out there tonight. What was the difference in the intensity, in not letting up, in keeping, in not only like keeping the lead, but growing the lead with each passing minute? What was the key in that, in that tonight? Uh, it's just the players staying locked in with how we want to play, and it's an area that we've spoken about a lot, you know, um, being intentional with our play, regardless whether we're up and down and how to play in the right way. Uh, Brianna, I want to start with you. You always talk about how important it is to make a statement at home and playing in front of this crowd. This was the largest crowd that the Liberty have ever had at the Barclays Center. So how do you think, as a team, you're able to kind of build, and how can you build on that going forward after this this performance? Yeah, I think we need to, to just appreciate uh, the amount of people that came out tonight and, and continue to support us and realize that, you know, as we continue to get more chemistry and, and more experience together, realizing that great teams, they use home court advantage a lot and, and making sure that, you know, whether we shoot the ball well or not, we know that our fans have our back and, and any team that comes in here, that's a, a really difficult place to play. Hi, this is for anyone who wants to take it. The assist totals from the starting lineup, three, four, five, six, and seven, and then three assists from KT. Uh, just how much fun is this team having playing with each other right now? A lot of fun. Um, just being able to share the ball and understand that we have so many weapons and, and ways that we can attack. And the more that you know we're able to figure one another out and continue to build chemistry, um, we're just a tough team to beat. And I think we were able to show that tonight, just being able to share the ball and get the ball and you know players that are able to make those shots and we believe in. and. Um, B and uh, KT hit huge shots for us. And so they're always getting us open. And, you know, it was it was our turn to let them take the shots that we know they can make. Sabrina, you've been on an absolute tear lately for about the past month. The crowd was behind you today. You kept the Liberty in it early and really opened it up for everyone else. What has gone into that for you over the past few weeks? Um, you know, just, just playing basketball. Um, you know, whether it's for myself or for my teammates, just understanding the gravity that I have coming off a, of a pick and roll and whether I'm going to be able to pass it to someone or I'm going to come off to shoot. And I understand that if I can come off and take those shots, um, just applying pressure on the defense. And so, you know, being able to get JJ down low and Stewie coming off of a pick and roll, it's just pick your poison and it's a tough, um, tough guard. And so for myself, just continuing to trust my shot and my shooting ability, and that's what I've been able to do. Hi, everybody. Um, Sandy, on the day, you guys doubled up the aces on the boards, 48-24. Was that something you sort of put extra emphasis on going into the game just to sort of prevent them from getting those easy opportunities and those second chance points? Yeah, we, I mean, we've been talking about that all season long. Uh, we want to be a great defense uh, rebounding team. And I think since the All-Star break, that's where we really got going. And a lot of credit goes to, obviously, our big, two bigs here, but all the guards getting in as well. But JJ's been a monster. Lately, just really um, just establishing herself down low and, and being relentless. Um, those extra possessions certainly did help us. What did we get? 20 second chance points on our boards. So, but that was one of the things we thought we could explore a little bit there. Um, but yeah, it's just everyone doing their jobs and, and, and finishing the play. Um, just going off that, I guess, for Sandy. Um, while you out rebounded the Aces by a lot in the first half, they still had 11 fast break points. What did you see or, or think about at halftime to decide to continue that aggression that kind of opened up the floodgates in the second half? Well, I think when we we uh, got exploited when we sent two to the ball, and that's not how we want to do it. We spoke about it at halftime. Let's not create because they're very good in transition. We know that. Um, so it's just just have a little bit more discipline when there's opportunity to hit and when there's we need to be smart and get back and take away easy baskets. Hi, all. Um, <clears throat> this is for Sabrina. Um, in, in your college career and, and now as a pro, you've been known to step up when a moment is really big. Um, what is it about you that allows you to do this? But also, what was it about today where you knew that you needed to put on the show that you did? I mean, I come out every game with the same mentality, um, and that's just to do my job and to do it to the best of my ability. And so... Tonight, obviously understanding that we're going up against the best team in the league and there's no room for error. There's no room for not being locked in and, and wanting to win every single possession. And so you were able to see, you know, everyone that 
was was in or not in um, was locked in from the tip. And so understanding that having needing to have that mentality um, going forward, not just against Vegas, but against everyone that we play, and, and this is what's going to come as a result. But understanding that we had so many fans there, there was a buildup around this game, and for us it was a message. They got us at their place really good, and we wanted to make sure that we came in ready and we were able to show our fans, but also ourselves, the improvement that we've had over the last couple months since we've last seen them, and um, we're excited to continue to build because we haven't reached our full potential yet. Sabrina, you, you mentioned a couple minutes ago the importance of reading whether to shoot or pass coming off the ball screens, but I'm wondering, you know, a lot of y'all's offense today was generated by you once they once they adjust and were more up on you at the level, you getting by and getting downhill and making offense from there. I'm just wondering what has gone into making that a more emphatic and advantageous part of your game, being able to leverage your size in that way. Yeah, well, um, understanding that. Um, I was a bigger guard today in the game with Plum guarding me, and so making sure that I could use my strength and speed to be able to get downhill. Um, I think I had a couple in the paint and a couple mid-range shots, and then that opened up the three-point line. And so continuing to just stay dominant on the offensive end and being able to read pick and roll defense, but at the end of the day, whether it's for myself or my teammates, um, just coming off and, and reading the pick and roll is what I do best, and putting myself in that position helps us as a team. Guys, congrats on the win. Uh, Sandy, this one is for you. I, when you look at these two rosters, and obviously there's so much star power in the starting five, how significant is making sure that you're getting what you got out of Kayla and out of Benajia in, in those open shots, in those moments? I know they combined for 21, but you know how much is that a part of what needs to be a difference maker when you guys are facing Las Vegas? Yeah, look, I think um, we've grown so much as a team, since, especially from All-Star, because we've established JJ. I think Benajia is doing a great job all, all season long, but, you know, we're posting her up. She's shooting the three. She's a great screener, mover out there, but always guards the best player on the other team. And, and KT is like, she's a three. She's a three and D, and that's what she does well for us. And um, just making sure that they, they're so valued in, in what they bring to this team and the way that we become the best team we could possibly be is by, you know, not relying on just three players. You know, I think the, the better teams can rely on, go. you know, obviously we had six tonight and we got to keep utilising them because I think that's, a, that's a, an advantage of ours. Uh, Sandy and then either one of the players, how would you assess where this team grew or was the best defensively today compared to when you first played the Aces and how did that really help you guys put the stamp on the game tonight? Yeah, look, I think it's one of our better, better, best defensive uh, games all season long. You know, we've been preaching a way that we want to play and, um, you know, we've had some breakdowns, but I, I thought we really protected the paint tonight. We did a good job. We had activity. We tracked deflections. I thought we were, we were more disruptive. Um, and everyone was on the same page. The defense, great defensive teams, it's not one player, it's everyone being engaged and doing their job, and that was one of our better efforts. And sometimes it's just playing harder. You know, it's getting through a screen and help, knowing where we want the help coming from and, and executing the scouts. So really, really proud of them. I mean, they, they couldn't have executed any better than what we had out there. And But, look, it's it's one game. You know, we're going to see Vegas a lot. They're a great team. And, you know, I'm sure they'll be uh, finding other ways to exploit what we did. Uh, even though it is just one game, Brianna, what um, Sabrina had meant, meant, mentioned the word message. What message do you think you sent to the Aces and to the league? And this, what statement did you make by playing so well against such a good team? I mean, I think you know the the statement that we made is um, you know we're a team that plays hard, and especially when we we really lock in and and are all on the same page defensively and offensively, um, it's hard to stop. And you know, obviously, we had. 50, 40, 100 game, which is kind of crazy. Um, <laughs> Only six free throws. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, but just, you know, moving the ball the way that we do, um, whether we're, we're in mismatches or not, we were constantly, you know, on a string with one another. And that shows, you know, where we started to where we are now. And, you know, we still have, what, 12 more regular season games to go. We just need to continue to be building off this momentum. Hi, everybody. Congrats on the win. Just a question for Sabrina. Um, just how did this team shoot so well from three today? What was the biggest aspect to that tonight? We took really good shots. 
Um, a lot of our shots weren't forced and we were able to create opportunities for one another just through downhill penetration. And so we drove and kicked and found the open man and we did so with a lot of patience and poise. We took care of the ball. Um, we were able to get stops on the defensive end and then run in transition and find the hot hand and everyone shot it really confidently but also just had really good looks at the basket. Uh, Sandy, what did you say to them at halftime and for either Sab or Stewie? Uh, you're up five at the half, and then just the second half, you blew them away. Did you think, like, whatever was said, that could be the result of it? I don't think I'm that motivational. Um, <laughs> um, look, it was more about areas. It was more keeping their focus. I thought we played a good first half for the most part. We kept under 44 points. There were some areas where we tidied up a little bit, we, where we overhelped a little bit too much when we didn't. So it's just little details. And then it's just them staying, like, you know, I wasn't celebrating at halftime. It was a long game. It's a long game. It's like challenging more, can we do it again? You know, let's do it better. Let's tidy up what we want to do here and, and um, you know, keep moving the ball and exploit, you know, down the other end what we wanted to do and, and find that the best shot every single time. That's it. This question is for Stewie. Coming off of the defensive question, um, Earlier in the game, Asia had a few big blocks, and then you came down on this end and had a monster block, and I believe Kirsten Bell, and you flew, and I literally said yes. she put her body on the line. Felt that, yeah. <laughs> so I guess just what kind of impact does that have, like a play like that, not only on the game, but on your teammates and everything? Yeah, I mean, I think just being re relentless and, and knowing that, you know, yeah, they had a fast break opportunity, but, but we're not giving up anything easy and continuing to fight. Um, I feel like I didn't really get to see the block because I just went <laughs> down after that. But um, I know my teammates were, were excited after I saw JJ. And it's just plays like that that continue to give us momentum. I think we had a, a bunch of 50-50 balls. Kayla was on the ground, and then I flew over Kayla. But um, just, just plays like that where we're all having fun, competing, and, and really playing hard. This is for Brianna. Um, congratulations on the win, guys. I just wanted to ask you, you, you work with uh, like three of the best point guards, whether it was Courtney, Sue, now Sabrina. What did you take from each of them? Ooh, um, I mean, Sue, like, Sue's always going to be my, my first point guard and, you know, really just the true vet that she is, especially coming in as a rookie and learning so much from her and just building that that relationship and appreciating all the years that we have together. I think that um, Sloop just continues to, to find people and, you know, it's like you have to always be ready because the ball might just come whenever. Um, just a, a great playmaking point guard and, and obviously Sav is her ability to, to kind of Obviously, shoot, but read ball screens, find the open teammate, and know that, you know, the attention she draws, she can take to, to her advantage and, and help the team. Sandra, this game is about a lot of matchups. Second half, you move Stewie on Plum, and it was having a hard, difficult time getting into their opposite set. Do you think that would change the whole game, second half? Uh, she's not supposed to be on Plum, but that was more in transition. Um, you know, we just sp moved players around a little bit. And, I mean, they were going to have to guard everyone in the transition phase. And then um, knowing when we needed a switch and when we need to be aggressive. But Shuey can guard one to five. So that's the beauty that we have um, with her versatility. And, um, you know, obviously B being able to guard multiple positions as well too. And But, it, you know, it's five-player defence. It starts with their effort and energy on the ball and, and, you know, the activity behind it. Hey, Coach, congrats on a win today right here. For you, you've been a part of a lot of big games, have won a lot of big games. But with that said, how have you been able to still remain just in the moment while preparing for these games and not looking ahead? Yeah, look, I, I suppose if you know me, um, if you – over the years, I don't get too high or too low. I have joy. I'm happy. Um, <laughs> she did the gritty. You did I did the, the gritty. gritty. <laughs> Not very good at it. I like to have a bit of fun now and then, guys. Um, but, yeah, no, look, it's one game. and it's, look, We're playing them soon. And, and if we won the championship, you'll see a lot of joy. There'll be a lot of running, jumping around, very excited. But, you know, we, we, don't win a, we didn't win a championship today. Um, we played a really good game, so I'm really, really happy. But the Vegas is a great. You know, they just had a bad night. We've been there before. So we're not going to – we're not patting ourselves on the back. 
we have to get ready to beat Chicago now. So I'll enjoy the moment today. Tomorrow I start getting ready for Chicago because it's a dangerous team too and we've lost to them. Um, so it's more about our mindset. So that's why I don't get too high or too low. And even when we lose, I mean, I come in, I'm not a, you know, I have, I have the same. I told him from day one, you'll always get the same from me every single day on wins and losses because it's about the journey and about the experiences and growing together. Let me get my camera ready. So in about a week, you will face Vegas again, but this time for the Commissioner's Cup Championship. First of all, how excited are you for this franchise to be playing them in the Commissioner's Cup Championship for the first time when, you know, it's money on the line, it's uh, for charity and some more things. And then um, how do you go in there and take that same intensity uh, to their place? Well, we just proved to ourselves what, what we're able to do. Um, who's, was that for me? Who was the question for? Body who wants to answer. Go ahead, Sab. <laughs> go the ahead. floor is yours. Um, yeah, I mean, it was a goal of ours, obviously, to get um, to, to this point and be able to play for a Commissioner's Cup championship. And so understanding that we've, we've kind of set the level of how we need to play every single game in order to be at our best. And um, obviously, the next, you know, throughout the next month, we're going to see them a lot. And so we have to continue to just make adjustments and play within ourselves and continue to get better and not, like Coach said, we're not – sitting here jumping for joy that we beat them. I think for us, it's just a wake up call of how good we can actually be. And that's the standard of New York basketball. And now we have to continue to get better throughout the next month. I'm excited for the charter. <laughs> Me too. Oh yeah. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> hey coach, over here. just wanted to ask about the defense a little bit. Uh, Sap talks about being locked in. You got some really good minutes defensively out of Stewie and JJ forced uh, Wilson to go two for 14 from the field. Um, so what did you see from your uh, centers playing against Wilson that really worked out there today? Yeah, I mean, they were great. They executed exactly what we wanted. Should we know, should we, um, as you know, it's, know each other so well? Uh, yeah, we should try to crowd her, make it uncomfortable for her. And I think we achieved that well. And, um, you know, it's we just have to, you know, take it. Yeah, we got it this game. We have to know every game's a new challenge for us. Um, but, yeah, they were locked in. When we got two big players there, they can kind of help each other and really – you know, change anyone, not just as you're going in, but also, you know, changing the, the guards going in just uh, with their ability to change their shot or, or, or switch and stay in place. We'll take one more on Zoom from Michael. Yeah, this is for Brianna, please. Um, Brianna obviously had, had a ton of support and fan adulation in UConn and, and Seattle, but do you ever have moments, in, including games like today, where you feel like, hey, this is – this is really special to, to play basketball in the Big Apple, to have a, a game on ABC that that is, you know, I know it's just one game, but still the, the specialness of what today felt like for Liberty fans. Definitely. I think that, you know, if you look back to, to especially the, the third quarter, um, you know, when it was just seemed like it was just three after three after three um, and having the crowd erupt like that, you you have to just enjoy it. And, and that's something that I was, um, you know, talking to Marta, my wife, about last night and earlier today is like obviously know the game plan but really wanting to make sure that we enjoy these moments because sometimes you know they go by so fast and appreciating the people coming out and making sure that we put on a show for them so then in turn they support us even more thank you great thanks everyone thank you